We now return to Funky Brewster. 35, 40, 45. It's just not enough to help Henry pay the rent. <laughs> what is ring a ling a ling Come out, come out! Romer, this is a phone. You talk into it. Hello? Really? A job for Henry in Florida? He'll take it! We're saved! Now Henry can pay the rent. Oh, boys! Do you think he'll mind going all the way to Florida? Nah. But he might not go for the skydiving. Skydiving? Punky, Henry will kill you. Hello, phone. Sorry, Glomer. This time it's the doorbell. Henry! Punky, I forgot my keys. Quick, hide Glomer. Again. You got it! Punky, why did you close the... Good news, Henry. I got you a job, so now you don't have to worry about the rent. I'll worry about when I have to worry. All you gotta do is jump out of a plane and take pictures of some daredevil skydivers. What do you say? In a word, no. But why not? Because I value my life. I guess that's okay, Henry. We can find another cheaper apartment. All right. But if I don't come back, it's on your conscience. That's the spirit. Now let's get going. Do I have time to get my umbrella? Wait a minute. Punky. Uh, you don't want to miss your plane, Henry. We'll talk later. Close call. call. Henry is skydiving. I won't be able to see it. Well, you can't get to Florida. You're snapping your fingers. Why not? Glomer can. Really? No sweat, baby. Okay, Glomer, you're on. But Henry told you to stay with my grandma. We'll be back by dinner. I'll never even know. Everybody, holding on to Glomer now. Here we come And now the Screaming Screamers skydiving team. trip I ever had. Phew, ain't no picnic for me either. Look, we're just in time. That must be Henry's plane. But where's Henry? <laughs> Never mind. Where's he going? The air feels this way. It's the wind. He's heading for the swamp. Glomer, quick, do something. I try. Long trick make magic poop. We've got to do something. You're not having me for dinner, you slimy reptile. Well, maybe slimy was a bit harsh. Now, which way is out? Punky, we should wait for the search party. No way! I got Henry into this mess and I'm gonna get him out of it. But there's mud in there! It's a swamp, what did you expect? Yogurt? What was that? I bet it's a big, ugly swamp monster like I saw in the movies. Monster! Yeah, he ate all the pretty girls first, starting with their toes. I'm doomed! Well, I'm not going to 
and let some man-eating swamp monster keep me from my Henry. You understand? We need it too. Come on out before I punch your lights out. There's your swamp monster. Now forget swamp monsters. Let's spread out and find Henry. Wait for us! If those aren't monster tracks, they sure have big bugs in this swamp. <gasps> what is it? It's it's a piece from Henry's coat. The swamp monster must have my Henry. Punky, I think Brandon's picked up Henry's scent. <laughs> well. Me pick up scent too, you know. We gotta follow those tracks and hope Henry tastes as bad as he looks. <coughs> I guess you can't expect a swamp monster to live at the Ritz. He's probably marinating Henry right now. This isn't gonna work, Punky. Don't worry, we're gonna scare the pants off of that swamp monster. for a pretty girl in the movie. I can't believe you talked me into this. Relax. We'll be right here to jump the monster when he shows up. Now, Glomer, you're our lookout. Understand? Sure, bet. When I see monster, I yell, Look out! Look out! Something like that. Okay, Margo, you're on. Oh, woe is me. A gorgeous, exquisite young maiden in distress. Margo will try to catch him, not make him sick. <laughs> it's coming! Smile, try to look pretty. Don't be redundant. <laughs> oh, right, Buster, I'll give you one second to tell me where Henry is. Henry, you're safe! 
monkey! How did you get here? We sort of stowed away on your plane. What? But we did save you from the swamp monster. Punky, Henry is the swamp monster. He must have tied Bark to his shoes to keep him from sinking in the mud. Uh-oh. Henry, do I have to polish all the furniture? Till it shines. Maybe next time you'll think twice before you stow away. I'll think ten hundred times. Well, at least we came out with enough money for the rent. Is there any leftover for a maid? Keep polishing! Keep polishing! We now return to Punky Brewster. Gee, Punky, I thought Alan didn't want us to watch him play football. He'll change his mind when he sees what's in the basket. You mean Glomer? Nope. Lunch. Somebody might see you. Oh, yeah, he, um, you bet. Hey, there's Alan. Come on, we want to play Crunch the quarterback. Hike! Oof. <gasps> Another touchdown, suckers. <sighs> you got to be the biggest goof in all of football. Why don't you go and bag your face, Lenny? Alan's okay. Sure, as a tackling dummy. Oh, yeah? For all you know, Alan could end up playing for the Chicago Bears someday. Only if the Bears go into hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> you won't laugh so hard when Alan's wearing a Bears uniform. See you at the Pro Bowl, Wimp. Come on, Alan. We're not going to let those bums treat you like this. But Punky... Alan will never play pro football. Never say never to Punky Brewster. We'll just have to get Alan on the Chicago Bears. That's all. That's all? Practice makes perfect. You're going to practice, Alan. Go out for a pass. need a lot of practice. Like a hundred years. Wait, Cherry. Maybe Glomer could help. <laughs> yes, we Bill. Hey, I feel strange. That's because you are. Alan, catch two ball. Football, Glomer. Throw the ball. That's what I call a bullet pass. Wow, I'm really good? Yeah, good enough to get you on the bears. We'll show that Lenny and Chucky. Now remember, let me do all the talking. This time, throw it right to the receiver. Hey, hey. hey, who are you? Punky Brewster, Super Agent. Today is your lucky day, Coach. Meet Alan, your next starting quarterback. Are you putting me on? He's just a kid. Just wait till you see Alan play. Sorry, kid. Come back in a few feet. Oh, well. Just a darn minute, Alan. Hey! Come back here! Say it! Hi! Okay, kids! Fun 
is over. Give me that ball. You heard the man, Alan. Give it to him. Okay, kid. Let's see what you can do. Hi! Well, Coach, is he in? Be here tomorrow. I'm gonna check with the NFL. You may just be our starting quarterback. That's right, Lenny. Alan's gonna be suiting up tomorrow. So you and Chucky beat the Bears game and see for yourself. Frankie! Henry, you gotta hide, Bloomer. <laughs> Henry? Hunky, I've got a surprise. Yeah! What was that? Yow! Yow! What on earth are you doing? Uh, practicing for choir. So, Henry, what's the big surprise? Something strange came over me, and I bought tickets for the whole gang to see the Bears game tomorrow. So, trippy go, Henry. Okay, okay. Don't strangle me. Now, lights out. Night, Henry. Wait till Henry sees Alan quarterback. Thanks to you, Gloma, Alan has a whole new career. Oh, sure bet. <laughs> what is career? The job you do for your whole life. Whole life? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Gloma magic has time limit. <laughs> Soon I'll be burbopped. Burbopped? Trip, fall, bumble. You mean he'll turn back into a klutz? Yep, you got it. Right off the button. Then we've got mega problems. Alan could get clobbered. We've got to get him out of the game. Margo, what's keeping Punky and Cherry? They'll miss the opening kickoff. Um, they went to get popcorn. But they already have popcorn. All right, move it, bears! Alan must be in here somewhere. Here to take you home. Are you crazy? I got a game to play. But Gloma's magical kaput. Bye bye, later day, split, head for the hills. Alan, if you play with those bruisers, we'll have to carry you home in a lunchbox. I don't believe you. I'm gonna go out there on that field and show them what I'm made of. Thank me for this later, Alan. Hey! Hey! Stop! I want my manicure! My lawyer! My mother! Hold it down or you'll need your doctor. There's the exit! Punky! It's stuck! Ah, uh, Punky friend! Wait a minute. That's Punky and Cherry on the field. Oh, no. It must be spots in your binoculars. Yeah, two spots named Punky and Cherry.
too. It's my destiny. What's your game plan now? Hey, Alan, you forgot your football. <laughs> Still want to go out and bang heads with the big boys? You've got to save me! Alan, there you are! Banky, there you are! Uh, hi, Coach. Hi, Henry. You're probably wondering what I'm doing on, um... I had to tell the coach Alan couldn't play in the game. What? So, you already know. I couldn't change the NFL's mind. According to the rules, you can't play until your class graduates from college. Oh. Gee, you broke his heart, Coach. Of course, there is something that you can do to make it up to him. Wow! He's right down there with Ditka and Peyton. I gotta admit it, Punky. You sure were right about Alan. I told you someday he'd be wearing a Bears uniform. <laughs> Well, Punky? Are you mad, Henry? It's a long story. All I want to know is, why didn't she get me Peyton's autograph? to Punky Brewster. 35, 40, 45. It's just not enough to help Henry pay the rent. <laughs> what is ring a ling ding ding Come out, come out! Romer, this is a phone. You talk into it. Hello? Really? A job for Henry in Florida? He'll take it! We're saved! Now Henry can pay the rent. Oh, boys! Do you think he'll mind going all the way to Florida? Nah. He might not go for the skydiving. Skydiving? Punky, Henry will kill ya! Hello, Fern. Sorry, Glomer. This time it's the doorbell. Henry! Punky! I forgot my keys. <laughs> 